So, um, if I was going to send a CD to Tim, right, I'd send him a story of my band. Yeah. And I'd go, hi Tim, my name's Dave, I'm in a band called Shit Hot. And every time we, every time we play a gig, Every time we play a gig, we sell 250 tickets, and for some strange reason, we sell we sell every CD that we take to the gig in my briefcase, right? And there's this radio station called Triple J that just started playing us a little bit, and there's this other station over here that just started playing us a little bit, and this band in Sydney just invited us down to play three or four shows, so we went down and we sold all our CDs there. I think we need distribution. Do you want to help us out? Yes. <laughs> It's all about the story. If you go there with some ammunition and some momentum, then people are going to be interested. But if you've just got a CD, I've got heaps of them as well. I could send you a shitload. <laughs> so again, we get back to this idea of you know doing a bit of groundwork, building a following, and working hard. So um, so okay, you, you, sorry, I'm just on the logistics of actually doing this because uh, you know it's it can be a lot of postage for nothing if you don't. If you don't follow up, is that incredibly important to you guys? Like, you know, is there the chance that a CD is just going to get lost in the pile? Absolutely, yeah. Call? I've got a pile on my desk right now that I've had for like two weeks. So, uh, and, and somebody will ring up and say, "Oh, have you have you received it yet? Have you ever listened to something?" And I'll go through and pull it out. So, following up is, is definitely um, definitely worthwhile, even though you um, you know even you, though you might think, "Oh, yes, yeah, so I don't don't mean to bug you or anything like that," but just just bug us, you know. Like that's that's the only way to get in there. Like. Uh, um, <laughs> we'll get um, that later. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's you know, following up is definitely important. Um, uh, like Dave said, the story is you know, some, whatever's happening with your band. Uh, um, but so just say, just say I do agree to distribute uh, the EP of the album. Uh, there's a few ways you can do it. Like um, uh, obviously, there's a, a contract or an agreement type thing. So we sort that out. But that's fairly straightforward. Um, uh, there's two ways. Um, we can do do the pressing, you know, for you, or the, the distributor can do the pressing for you. So, um, you know, depending on what kind of quantity you're looking at, we can we can do that. Uh, or you could, you know, if you have finished CDs already, we can distribute it like that as well. So, um, but depending on the, how the packaging looks, if the if the packaging and the artwork's not up to scratch, then we'd probably say go back and and you know redo that. Don't forget the barcode. <laughs> yeah, if you're pressing, get a barcode. Yeah. Um, Bring air about the barcodes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk a little bit. AIR. AIR.org.au. So, yeah, just a bit off the track, but if you do press your own CDs and you want to take them to the distributor, you need to have a barcode on there. So, get in touch with AIR and uh, they'll help you out. More importantly, actually, a catalogue number. Catalogue number, yeah. It's yeah. probably more important than a barcode. So, just call it, you know, shit hot 001 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just look at your, you know, one of your CDs at home from one of your favourite bands or whatever. Like, just look at everything that's on that CD and that's what you need on yours, basically.